Hi everyone, here's our math problem for today. Imagine an unstretchable rope wrapped completely around the earth at the equator. Here is our rope. Also, imagine that the earth is as smooth as a cue ball. Ignore the mountains, the ocean, gravity, etc. Now the question is, if you lift the rope one foot above the earth's surface, going all the way around, how much extra rope will you need? In other words, you are going to compare the circumference of the rope wrapped around the earth and the circumference of the rope when it is one foot above the earth's surface wrapped completely around the earth. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's cut a plane that will cut through the Earth's equator, dividing it into two equal parts. And here is the cross section when viewed from the North Pole. The circumference of the Earth would be this red circle. Let the radius be equal to r. And let's remember that the circumference of a circle is computed by the formula c equals 2 pi r. So in this case, let's denote c sub 1 be equal to the circumference of the earth represented by this red circle. Now let's draw this line segment from the center of the earth extending beyond the circumference of the earth by one foot. Again, this is the radius of the earth. So the distance from this point up to the center would then be represented as r plus one foot. Then let's draw a circle that is one foot above the Earth's surface going all the way around. Now the circumference now of the blue circle would still be computed using the formula 2 pi r, only that this radius is now increased by one foot, so the radius now becomes r plus 1. Now to compute now for the extra rope, we are going to subtract c sub 2 minus c sub 1, and so we now have this result. c sub 2 is 2 pi times the quantity r plus 1 minus c sub 1 which is 2 pi r. Simplifying, we can distribute 2 pi to r plus 1 to arrive at 2 pi r plus 2 pi and then copy a minus 2 pi r. We can cancel out 2 pi r minus 2 pi r and the right side becomes only 2 pi. So c sub 2 minus c sub 1 which represents the length of the extra rope would now be equal to 2 pi, which is approximately equal to 6.28 feet. Now, this is hard for me to believe. Earth is such a huge object, but 6.28 feet is very short when compared to the Earth's circumference. Now, what's mind-boggling about this situation is instead of the planet Earth, let's suppose we are just going to use a small object, a tennis ball. The circumference of the tennis ball will still be computed using the formula 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the tennis ball. Next, let's increase the radius by one foot and draw a circle around the tennis ball. The result is this yellow circle. Its radius is r plus one foot also. And so if you are looking for the length of the extra rope between this small red circumference and this bigger yellow circumference, then we can subtract their corresponding circumferences. Here, c sub 2 would be equal to 2 pi times the radius of r plus 1. And the same as in the first case, we can get the length of the extra rope by subtracting c sub 2 minus c sub 1 and simplifying. We also arrive at 2 pi, which is approximately 6.28 feet for the length of the extra rope between the circumference of the tennis ball and the circumference of this yellow circle. So the situation is like this. You have this big object, which is the planet Earth, and you have this very small object, the tennis ball, when compared to this massive object. But when we compute for the extra rope, when the rope is raised one foot above the respective objects, the resulting extra ropes for both of them are the same. And that is contrary to our intuition. Now, the reason why our intuition might mislead us in this situation is because we are thinking of the circumference itself. We are not thinking about that extra rope. Also, notice that this one foot, when compared to the actual radius of the planet Earth, would not be raised this much. In fact, the proper representation should be similar to this. You barely move the blue circle above the red circle. And so the two circumferences are basically almost equal to each other. And their difference is only this 6.28 feet. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.